Speed and accuracy are two components of the Braille Challenge, a competition among blind students across the country. Students who participate in the Braille Challenge every year have an opportunity to demonstrate skills in such activities as spelling, reading and writing, proofreading, using tactile graphs and charts, all of which apply to how they are integrated into their local schools and are able to compete alongside their sighted peers in the classroom. Regional Director Karen Ross led the 11th Annual Northeast Braille Challenge in which 24 elementary to high school students from six different states competed at the Carroll Center for the Blind, receiving audio instructions and typing away on their Perkins Braille writers, all hoped to score high enough to win a spot at the finals in California. Nancy Newbergy, director of the National Braille Challenge, said that 800 students are expected to compete nationally. 37 different sites across Across the country, we host regional events just like this one. And then the top 60 kids, we put all the scores together, and the top 60 kids are invited to Los Angeles. Christine and Steve Duffley's nine year old son is the only blind student in his school. They were grateful that Christopher was able to bond with kids who are just like him. It's a great opportunity to be with other peers that he does not get exposed to on a daily basis or maybe even monthly basis. The Duffleys learned about the competition from Mary Beth Garrity, mom to Gabby, also a nine year old participant and a former national finalist. She's the only one in school that, that brails, um, which she thinks is cool. Um, it is nice to come here and to, to show her skills and to, you know, to, um, for her to be, I think, be proud of herself and to really um, build her confidence. But the Braille Challenge wouldn't exist without donations from several organizations for the blind and many anonymous private parties, allowing students to compete for free. Also instrumental were the volunteers, many of whom are blind themselves. They proctor exam rooms and score tests. Scorer Chris Devon was born blind and learned Braille in first grade. I know how important Braille was to me as a kid and is to the people now in all kinds of, as, as children and adults. And the more children learn to read Braille, the more literacy there will be for blind people. The goal of the competition is to prepare students not only for academic success, but also for employment after graduation. Most blind people who are actually employed are Braille readers because they need to have the context of literacy in order to be a, be a uh, productive employee. All 24 participants received gifts while the three highest scoring students in each age group accepted prizes. The 60 finalists will be announced in May for June's National Braille Challenge. Christine McCarthy, Newton News, Newton Center.